Joining us right now, ladies and gentlemen, the tag team champions of the World Wrestling Federation, Erwin R. Scheister, Ted DiBiase. Here they are, Money Incorporated. Everybody's got a price. Everybody's gonna pay. Cause the million dollar man Irwin R. Scheister, that has to bother you. You come out here to a capacity crowd, what do you hear? The only thing that bothers me, McMahon, is an empty bank account, and I'll never have that. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you asked for this time. Go ahead. What do you have to say? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, but all the king's men and all the king's horses couldn't put Humpty back together again. <laughs> okay, and what's that supposed to mean? It's very simple, McMahon. My partner, Erwin, and I are sitting back in the back, and we saw Brutus the Barber Beefcake come out here and pour out that sweet sob story. And I'll have to admit, it's a pretty sad story. The guy loses his mother, then he loses his father, then he loses his wife, and if that's not bad enough, he gets his face smashed. And that's bad. But I'm here to say that when you got your face smashed, Beefcake, you knocked the screw loose, pardon the pun. <laughs> because for you to come out here after three years of never being in the ring and op offer an open challenge to any wrestler in the World Wrestling Federation, you got a lot of gall. That's like a slap in the face. So let's cut through all the small talk and get to the point. You want a match? We'll give you a match. Why don't you start out with a champion? And you got your choice of two right here, the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. Both of us would like to have a shot at you. So you take your pick. No, better yet, Erwin, let's do this the democratic way because I know you want the shot too. Let's flip a coin. Have you got a coin? Wait a minute. Just a minute. Let them flip the coin. <laughs> As I win, <laughs> I win. So it looks like, Beefcake, if you want to accept the challenge, the open contract, it's going to be the million dollar man. <laughs> Jimmy Hart, what do you, where have you been? What do you, you, you put them up to this? What are you, what are you doing? Well, you know, this is ridiculous. This is a waste of time, guys. Let me tell you something. We're the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. Irwin, if you get in the ring with Brutus and you get hurt, it's over, baby. Don't worry about DB, i see if you get in the ring with Brutus and get hurt, it's over for us as a tag calm team, man. Calm down, Jimmy, calm down. This is strictly recreational. Look, you're our manager. It's a workout, exactly. You think? that this man or myself is gonna climb in a ring with a guy that hasn't been in the ring for three years and you're worried about one of us getting hurt. If anybody gets hurt, Jimmy, it's gonna be Beefcake and we know where and how to hurt him. What do you mean by that? What, what do you mean? Minute, let me Jimmy, Let me talk here, wait a minute. First of all, Beefcake, you're breaking our hearts with this sad, sad story. But let me point something out to you, Beefcake. While you're laying on your back, all those doctor bills collect and realize that you're not paying any tax. So that makes you no better than every one of these stinking tax teams right here and all over the world. And be think that's your biggest mistake. You're not paying your fair share. That's right, Owen. In addition to that, the way I see it, in addition to being a tax cheat, Beefcake, you've only got one asset left. You are destitute, you're penniless, you've had it bad. But the only asset he's got left is that million dollar face. And you know, we wouldn't do anything to that. <laughs> Look, put up both you guys, quit clowning around. We've got contracts to sign, we've got matches to talk about, so let's go. Come on.